Hey guys, so this is gonna be a little bit of a personal video, but I really wanna talk about this, especially now when there is like 7,000 people following me here and watching those videos that are just as uncomfortable to make as they were when I started. So I wanna talk about my motivations for everything that I'm doing here. But before we get to that, I want to tell you a story. About 10 years ago, I moved in with Diana into like this horrible, shitty apartment. And it was just when I stopped working for an agency and I was thinking about starting my own company. So we had barely any money. We had our just two computers and this horrible apartment in like the worst neighborhood of Warsaw or one of the worst. So there were like people shouting in the street and you can hear it through the windows almost every night. There were cars with flat tires on the parking lot and people were sitting in those cars and drinking alcohol. And even one night there were some loud teenagers downstairs and some lady uh, leaned from the balcony somewhere above us and shouted that if they don't shut up, she's gonna be throwing oranges at them. So yeah, oranges at 3 a.m. But through all of this, I never gave up. I was still doing daily design challenges. I was still trying to improve myself. I was still trying to get better so we as a company could get better clients. We can grow more and we can finally build something that's worthwhile. So we were very goal driven. And I think that this is what was the main thing, the most important part of the success, because I think that I can now say that we managed to get to a level of success where we're happy and we're grateful for what we have and we're just in the right spot in the good spot so if you're not in the right spot if you're not in this happy place right now uh, if you put in the work if you put in the time you will be but it's a matter of time and it's a matter of that effort that you really need to put into this and of course at that time with people throwing oranges from the balconies it would have been easier to just give up and go work for some other agency to have a stable job to have just a standard nine to five but I'm really happy that I didn't do that, that I endured and that I survived this. Because right now I'm at a spot where I can actually be sharing a lot of the stuff I know with you for free. So why do I do this? What's my main motivation for this YouTube channel or me talking to you or our community? And I'm gonna be completely honest with you. The initial goal for most of the stuff that we've been doing here was to sell more of our books. And that's understandable. You do social media to promote your product and we believe that the product is really good and people are telling us that it is it has great ratings so we're very happy with how it's going it's still growing universities are using it for their classes people are really learning from it and people are actually sending us emails and this is something i want to focus on a little bit people are sending me emails all the time how they actually improved their quality of life because of the book because it kind of allowed them to jump over a couple of the stages of standard designer growth and become better a little bit faster. So it's not gonna be like 10 times faster unless you're like really truly committed and dedicated, but it's gonna be faster. And getting those emails is actually something that modified my motivations a little bit because I realized that, okay, yeah, getting the books sold is what allows me to do all of the other things for free, which is great, but those emails are actually something that is touching me right here. Yeah, I don't even know how to say that. It's something that kind of makes me feel that I made a difference in somebody's life and it's for the better and it makes me super happy. I mean, like really, really super happy. So there's at least a couple of people that I know of that have grown in a very big way because of the stuff we're doing. And that gives me huge pride and huge joy and a lot of gratitude as well, because I'm super grateful that I'm happy to contribute and to actually, you know, make someone's lives better at the other side of the world, because that's just mind blowing. Like the whole way of communicating that we can do here, sharing knowledge, sharing experiences and sharing some paths and goals and everything. So my point is that of course we all need money to survive, but those emails and those messages, when I get them, they give me this sort of higher level of fulfillment that I did something that's going to stay with me. I helped somebody and this is going to stay with me forever because that money that's coming in, we're going to spend it on something and it's gone. And it's gone. But this whole idea that we managed to make somebody's lives better, this is just what it's all about. Because I think that this is what teachers should be all about. 
industry should be about giving value, not just doing some stuff from like point A to point B and yeah, the class is done, the class is over and that's it. They should be able to go back after a year or two and check up on the students and see where they are. There is this joke uh, running around Poland right now like that a student is reaching out to a teacher 20 years after graduation and he's saying, Dear teacher, you are the reason for all of my achievements in life and I wanted to thank you for that. And the teacher says, well, that's nice. What did you achieve? And he says, nothing. <laughs> uh, so I wouldn't really want to be that kind of a teacher. I would like to be able to really help people grow in terms of getting from the current spot, hopefully not with like oranges flying overhead, to a much better spot later because it's completely possible, it's completely doable. And I wasn't really lucky with teachers myself. Yeah, because most of my teachers were pretty boring, repeating the same old knowledge that wasn't really updated to the modern times. And in many cases, I was just feeling like I'm wasting time instead of actually learning something. And design, you know, as this kind of concept of moving a rectangle from here to here, is just one thing but there's a lot of the other stuff that i want to share with you on this channel that i believe that are just as important like the stress management the breathing techniques all of these things are actually helping me and they have helped me to get through very difficult times in running my own company or in working freelance or working with clients they might not seem relevant to you right now but believe me they are and same with voxels and curiosity and everything that we're doing here. So it's not really about being an artist or just playing around. It's about exploring new things, exploring new ideas, because it gives you a perspective, a better look on what you're doing normally. Yeah, so that's been a bit of a rant. Uh, hopefully you're still here with me. And if you are, thank you, because uh, I sometimes really need to, to just talk from my heart and to talk about stuff that I think that are my goals and my main motivations here. Because I'm not just some guy trying to sell more books. I'm just using that as a platform to be able to truly help somebody. And that's really, well, at least that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> and to end it on a lighter note, all of my teachers throughout school always wrote in like this sort of final summary of my achievements or lack thereof. They always wrote something along the lines, smart but lazy. And if you're lazy, you're not really showing the smarts. So in a way that kind of works for everybody because it's kind of like saying he didn't really do anything. So we don't know if he's stupid or not. So we'll just call him smart so it looks good. And it's also like this sort of sandwich where you package some bad information in between two better ones. So it kind of doesn't really hurt that much. But I think that we should be as far from lazy as possible. We should really try to improve, expand and be better with the limited time where we have. Because it's all about that. It's about using the time to grow in this sort of limited space that we're calling the design industry. So yeah, anyway, enough of the ranting. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. And I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.